Baez in the air, deep to right. Harper watches it go. Cubs lead three to two in the sixth. He is beginning to heat up. Came into this game slumping, but now two for three, an RBI double and a home run moments ago. Comes in hard, goes out hard. And Baez will get a chance to drive in the go ahead run with one away, first and third in this 10th inning. Bunted, and it's going to work. Cubs lead 4 3. Javier Baez comes through again. Baez bunted it very sharply. I thought Zimmerman might be able to catch the ball on the fly, but he couldn't. Moment you thought Zimmerman might have a chance with the high fastball. I'm thinking there's no way he's bunting here. Baez with a clutch bunt to put the Cubs ahead. I did not see that coming. Uh oh. Deep drive right field. Richard taking off. He's turning around and kiss that one goodbye. There's 41 for J.D. Martinez to put the Red Sox on the board. Oh, you stay away, away, away. You're going to get hurt. Number 41 was a slider down and away. Hit it in the bullpen. What new? That's what he does in Fenway Park. A little lift. And that ball is bridge. Look at the slider down and away. Not so much down. He goes and gets it. Keeps his head down. Once he gets that ball in the air, he drives it. And you just expect this ball to be in the bullpen. You just do. And it is. Number 41. Over the bullpen. So he is tied for the major league lead again with Davis of Oakland. So the Mets are down to their final out in game one of this doubleheader and it's Conforto who's had a rough day at the plate and Conforto drives it to deep right field and that will tie the game. Michael Conforto with two out in the ninth inning has hit it into the Coca Cola corner and this game is even three to three. Don Mattingly's extra add to the bullpen. He brought in Kyle Bearclaw. Ends up costing him the lead and maybe this game. Three to three. That's the Mets' first hit since Steven Metz's second inning home run. Here's the 1-1. One -one. Swing and a drive. Well hit to left. This might go. Galloway back at the wall. It's gone. Put it in the box. That's the way to start a doubleheader. Two out. Bottom of the ninth. Nobody on. And Conforto and Frazier with lightning and thunder, and the Mets win it four to three. Not only that, they haven't sniffed a hit since Bats hit the two-run home run in the second inning. Down to their last out, and Conforto and Frazier give them a win. Another soft grounder, barehanded by Machado. What a play! I think there was a deflection off the mound. He got such a good jump originally that he was going to be there very easily if the ball continued on its course as we take a look at the Arco top tier play. No, Clayton Kershaw deflects it with his glove. That's the change of directions that he had to make up and why Clayton was making such a big smile at the end back at Manny. A terrific play. 2-1 for Barnes. Hard hit, base hit. Down the line, maybe more. McKinney giving chase, it's all the way to the wall. Bogarts to second. He slides in with a double. Hot shot, really hugging the ground past Diaz. And the Sox are in business. Double number 42 for Xander. Ties with Buki for the club lead. And now the go-ahead run is in scoring position for Blake Swihart. There goes Bogarts for third, swing and a miss. Strike two, and Xander steals third easily. Barnes wasn't paying a lick of attention to him. Well, that changes everything now. Yes, it does. One out, a fly ball can put the Red Sox in the lead. Same thing happened last night. And popped him up. Racing out, second baseman Solarte. Uh -oh. Coming on Gritchick, and he bounced it. it. I knew it. Here comes the run. The Red Sox lead it four to three. You could see that coming with the infield in. He went back and got twisted around. Was not at a good angle to catch that ball. Boy, and that had trouble written all over it from the beginning. And it cost the Blue Jays dearly. 
Big home run yesterday for Colorado. He connects on the first pitch to deep left. It is way gone. Norlin Arenado muscles up for the solo home run. One nothing Colorado. And there's another situation. First pitch trying to get ahead with a fastball. And you don't want to leave it over the plate to this guy. Home run number 34 on the season. And there was no doubt about that one, huh, Blondin? No, he got that one good. You know, he's he is just like a prototypical left-handed hitter from the right side. He loves to go down and get it. Uh, you know, that, that pitch kind of about knee high on the inner part of the plate. And man, he drove that ball out of here, almost hit the Toyota Tundra and left. 464 feet for Nolan Arenado following up yesterday's shot which was back in the bottom of the fifth. So he's up to 34 home runs on the season. And he drives one to deep left and forget that. Steven Matz drills a home run. His first big league home run to tie up the ball game. And he got every bit of it. His 113th major league at bat, his first big league home run. Well, I've honestly been at a loss why, not that Stephen will hit the ball in the ballpark, but why he doesn't hit more because I think he's the most natural hitter of all the pitches. I really do agree. Uh, I really find that so athletic. And he showed you what he could do right there. Well, we saw in his first big league game what he could do with the bat. He hasn't done a whole lot of hitting since, but that was crushed. Now Contra with the ball up and in, and he was up to the task. I mean, this is a, it's a hitter's home run, distance wise. We are in the ninth. In the air, right field, Bermuda Triangle area. Diving! Oh! What a play made of the dive by Valera. A ball that was fair. And would have changed the whole complexion of this game as hauled in on a diving catch. What a beautiful play right there and a beeline to this baseball. I mean he was flying to get this one and a great diving, diving effort and as soon as it sticks in the glove he's got a double play opportunity. He hits the ground and he's up throwing to first base. Wow. A great play just to catch it and then the wherewithal to uh, flip it back into first base. Wow. The best plays great of the year play. right there. Yeah, Adam Jones loving that and the rest of the dugout as well. That is walloped. Straight away center. Very deep. Very deep. Very good. Home run Nelson Cruz. Boom. Stick baby. Three run shot. The Mariners have a six nothing lead. Wow. Home run number 36. Takes the RBI total to 89 and 1003 for his career. I'm not sure what the hang time was on that, <laughs> but it was in the air for a very long time. Dead center field. See the pitch right in the middle of the plate. Towering fly ball out to center. Typically the ball doesn't carry as well here at night. Plenty of carry on this. Goes into the trees out in the dead center field. Got him to chase for the first down. Kershaw comes home to DeYoung with a 2-2 and gets him swinging to finish the Cardinals in the first. We're done. A strikeout to open the second. Perfectly placed. Kershaw sits him down two gone. Kershaw to Carpenter with a 1-2 to get him swinging. Curve falls in to get Munoz for the first down. He's got seven K's through three. Kershaw pulls it back and slaps one down the line. A fair ball. Redwell by Hernandez. He'll come in to score. RBI single for Clayton Kershaw. They could go straight down a little bit more. Gets Spader swinging. Strikeout number eight. Here comes a 1-1. Curve is pulled sharply, but on a bounce right to Machado, and that's that. Kershaw gets through six.